It's time to catch a cheater. Only on the Jubal Show. Alicia is on the phone today for To Catch a Cheater. She's been married to her husband, Edward, for three years, but now she thinks something might be going on, so we'll see if we can help her out. Sorry about that, Alicia. Uh, What's going on? Why do you think that your husband, Edward's cheating? Hi. Well, I mean, it's it's kind of a bit of a story. Okay. Well, we work for the same company, but we work in a different department, so we've never really had to interact that much. I have a different boss in my department, and my husband, Edward, is the boss in his department. And, you know, we're both very professional at work, and um, we're very by the book, so when we come home, we don't really talk very much about work, and it's been good for us in the relationship, but sometimes it can be a little little boring. Um, But you know, we just don't really talk about our days, I guess, when we get home Okay. until about, uh, until about a month ago, um, some things have just gotten sort of rocky in the past month. And, uh, my husband and I have been going to therapy, mm-hmm. trying to work with a the therapist and then trying to talk things. Um, but it doesn't really feel like things are, are getting better. It just feels like everything is sort of plateaued. Okay. And they've not gotten worse. And I just feel like Edward, I don't know, he seems very detached. He feels, he seems like he's bored. Like he just wants to not come home or not really like talk to me. And I feel like I've tried everything I could think of to uh, like spice things up and keep him interested. Are you bored? <sighs> no. You know, I mean, I've been, we've been married for a while, you know, well, not a while, but three years. So it's a long time to be married and, you know, it's comfortable now. So I'm not really bored. Yeah. But I mean, there are times when things have gotten sort of complacent, but that I think that's just life. Sure. Okay. Do you think that he's actually cheating on you or do you think that because he's bored that he might? Well, here's the thing is we, you know, we both take separate cars to work, even though we're going to the same place, but we both get home. He usually gets home a little later Mm -hmm. for me, but now he's been getting home like a few hours later than he usually does. Mm. And he's also been getting texts from his secretary, um, Lizzie, right before we go to bed at 10, 11, um, which is pretty late for us. And, um, I've asked him like, why does your secretary keep texting you? What does she need to talk to you about? It's like 11 o'clock at night. And he says, Oh, it's just work. And he's very, you know, he, uh, he'll say, just stop talk. Like, stop being like that. Like you're being okay. crazy right now. I don't like that. I don't and like that either. Yeah. Very, yeah. I mean, it's very, um, like he just has like these prepared answers to kind of shoot me down whenever I ask him anything about Lizzie to where I don't feel comfortable talking about it, but I don't think that's appropriate or that she probably needs to text him that late. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think you're, oh. I think you're right. Does Lizzie know you? Does, yeah, she knows me. Okay. I mean, coworkers don't need to be texting that late unless you're working on a special project and it's like a one-time thing, but that's like not an everyday thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, could he be working on a special project? I don't think so, but it's, I don't think so. I, th- I think work is just normal as it's always been. I don't, I don't think they have anything special going on right now. Mm. Um, but it's also just like the way he responds in his tone whenever I ask him about it. He gets very defensive. Yeah, not a good sign. defensiveness is usually not a good sign when it comes to that. Well, we'll see if we can help you out. You already told us what grocery store you guys are rewards card members at. So we'll call, pretend to be from the grocery store and say that every single month we choose one lucky rewards member who gets free flowers delivered to anybody that they want. And we'll see if he sends those to you or to somebody else. Okay. Okay. Thank okay. you. Play a song, come back and get your to catch a cheater next. Right in the middle of To Catch a Cheater, if you're just joining us, Alicia is on the phone and she thinks that her husband of three years, Edward, might be cheating. So we're about to call him and pretend to be from the grocery store that he's a rewards member at and tell him that every single month we choose one lucky rewards member who gets free flowers delivered from our floral department. And we'll see if he sends those to his wife, Alicia, or to somebody else. But first, Alicia, why don't you refresh our memory of your situation? Uh, My husband and I have been having problems lately. We've been going to therapy. And um, things have not gotten worse, but they haven't really gotten better. And lately he hasn't been coming home from work right away. And he's been getting texts 
from his secretary um, pretty late at night and won't tell me what they're about and gets pretty defensive when I ask him. So just wondering what's going on. Yeah, me yeah. too. See if we can find out for you. Are you ready for us to call him? Yes. Okay, here we go. Hello. Hi, this is Corbel calling from. I was looking for our rewards card member named Edward. Uh, yes, yeah, speaking. Hi, Edward. Please don't hang up. This is not a marketing phone call. I'm actually calling to say congrats. You're this month's big winner. Wow. Yeah. Must be. Uh, must be my lucky day. What, what <laughs> I win? Um, the flowers. Every single month, we choose one lucky rewards card member at random to say thank you very much for being a customer and shopping with us. You've won 36 long stem red roses, a box of candy or chocolate, and a card to be delivered to anybody that you want within the 50 United States. It's a $316 value, actually. Wow. Okay. Yeah. No. Um, thank you. Thank you. I'm in. Um, Great. Yeah. Uh, can I tell you who to make it up to? All right. Let me get my form pulled up then. And um, okay. First thing I'll need is uh, the first and last name of the person you want to send them to. Sure. Yeah. Uh, make it out to Lizzie. Okay, great. I will do that. And um, is there anything you would like to put on a card before I get the address and stuff? Sure. Yeah. Put uh, Alicia. I listen to the show too. And Lizzie is my free pass. Okay. Wait. Whoa. I what? What? Are you serious right now? Putting me on the show, putting me on blast. You know, I listen to the show. I know your voice, buddy. Well, thank okay. you for listening to the well, show. Yeah, thank you for listening to the show. Obviously, then you know your wife is on the phone, Alicia, and suspects that you might be messing around. So you well, are, nice one, Alicia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm cheating on you with Lizzie. I'm cheating on with you with what? Lizzie, and what? that doesn't mean anything. All right, listen, it's just what? musical. But guess what? She's my past because you cheated first, and you know this. Did you, Did she tell you that? Did she tell you that she's a cheater? Did she no. tell you she's a cheater? No. Uh. Uh-uh. Let him know, Alicia. Do you want to tell him or should I? Alicia had sex with her boss. Okay? With her two boss? Months ago. Yeah, two months ago. Uh, Do you know how I found out? How? We drive separate. So one day I came home, I found a condom wrapper in the wastebasket next to the bed, in my uh, bed, all right? Do you think we use condoms? No. Okay, so then... You know how ashamed I felt being being cuckled by my... Oh my God. Her boss. Her boss. So the way you deal with it is to cheat on me with your secretary? That's so the way I deal with it. You're with your it secretary, that's you. so cliche. The, yeah, that's the way that you deal with it to get back at me. Oh, give me a break. Like, we haven't gone to therapy. Like, we haven't gone through this. <laughs> that you owe me. You admitted that. We talked about having a free pass. Guess what? Lizzie is mine. I tried to be a little bit subtle about it. Yeah, it was kind of obvious. But I, for you to get mad about it, let alone go on the radio and call it out, are you kidding me, Alicia? You hypocrite. Well, you okay. lied about it, and it kind of doesn't make it better that you just did what she did. Yeah. But Alicia, you don't, no. I mean. It yeah. sounds like, you know, you guys obviously have a lot to talk about mm. or to not talk about anymore. I don't think you should just try to make it an eye for an eye and get back at me by sleeping with your secretary and then lying to me about it. You were fine with an eye for an eye. You said you owed me. All right. Do I have a free pass or not? Well, then you should have just told her that you have that you were taking advantage of the past. I mean, at that point, no. I'm sorry if I made you feel humiliated or called you out. I that was not what I wanted to do. I just felt like you weren't talking to me and you couldn't tell me what was going on. If you wanted a free pass, why didn't you have this conversation with me? Right, did you have a conversation with me before you cheated? Do you think I wanted any of this? Okay, well, <gasps> Alicia, you well, know. Maybe- you got your answer. Um, uh, Work sounds like a really. Can we just place. talk about this off the air when we get home? I, I mean, I yeah. love you, and I, I don't. Look, I don't want to keep you. fighting with you. Or, Do you guys want to be together? I didn't enjoy being with Lizzie. It was a one-time thing, and I'm, I'm. I'm, I'm calling it off. I don't want to do it again. I only did it okay. because I felt like I, I had to gain some kind of control. All right, back in the relationship. But no, you're who I want to be with, and I hate this. I hate everything about it. I love you. I love you, too. I wouldn't give up on therapy. Oh, sorry. This is really yeah, good. this then is really good. It sounds like you guys have something to talk about now in therapy. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. Uh, good luck. I hope you work it out. I do. And me, too. I'm glad yeah. you guys have love there. 
Cool. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. I love you, Edward. The Jubal Show's To Catch a Cheater.